farming Andalusia as Granada is pure pain. Not only it starts with only 4 provinces, it also doesn't even have land access to Africa. So to even get help from Morocco or Tunis, they would need to siege down this world. If only there was some sort of great power, which would easily be able to conquer all necessary provinces. Well, actually there is one. And it's Castile. In this video I will form Andalusia as Castile. As usual, let's start with privileges. So Castile starts with factionalist nobility, which is actually awful privilege. And I do want to revoke it as soon as possible, but there is one problem. We need 50 crowns for this. Do I care enough to not give out minor privileges? No, I don't. It's bad privilege, but it's not game ending privilege. So I'm going to grant mana privileges, which is diplomats, maybe clerical education. I won't grant anything to nobility, and let's take Burger Loans. Six land, let's check out our rivals who rivals us. Uh, Burgundy, England, Morocco. Well, Morocco is good, Burgundy is bad, but not a big deal. Let's rival England. I can ally Aragon right from the start, oh, let's do it. And I could ally France, but I won't because it's my greatest enemy. So maybe let's just rival it. And I will put Grand Company in Burgas. Move this tech somewhere here, I don't know, in the middle of the country. And start building some galleys in all provinces. We already have one general, let's assign him to this army, Grand Company. And I think we can make both our leader and air generals. It seems England has surrendered men, that means France should be easier to beat. Because it won't retake its course. At least for some time. And that's why I hired Grand Company and put my troops on my forts. So Spain starts with this awful disaster, there is no way to avoid this and it can literally break your game. So basically this disaster first can screw our PU over Aragon if we choose the Infantes and not our King. And second, it will spawn tons of rebels and will spam events which lower our stability. So basically if we won't end it right away, it will last for quite a long time. But, but I have a solution. So first we want to see where the rebels will spawn. In Toledo and La Mancha. I think I will put these troops in La Mancha and this one in Toledo. We need to anticipate them. You see, when they spawn, they automatically occupy the province where they spawn, even if it's fort. So if we don't put our troops on fort, it will get occupied. Interesting. Okay, it spawned, but not in Toledo, but in Bocetta. Not a big deal. We need to deal with them ASAP. Now let's just wait. And our ships are ready. That means we can finish first mission. Prepare the conquest. Let's see, Granta allied Morocco and Tunis. Well, with Aragon we should be able to easily win. Oh, by the way, we can ally Venice, yes, I remember. Let's try at least. And last relations with Burgundy. And this is a unique event for this disaster, we can pay 100 tickets and get plus 10 morale and plus 5 discipline for 5 years, I think, quite worth it. And by the way, let's swap La Mancha a little for better gold income. And I will most pull fortress in Toledo, like this. Now nobles won't spawn, there will be other rebels. And yes, I could buy one stability and end this disaster, but I won't. Yes, we will be spammed by these events without stability, not a big deal. Let's just wait. Here we go, rebel support in Toledo. I will let them cinch down my capital, not a big deal. Okay, one more event which will spawn more rebels. And that's what I want. I want as many rebels as possible. I want whole Spain be occupied by rebels. Toledo is sieged, now they just need to carpet siege my princes. Let's hide all of my armies somewhere. Just what I need, support for in civil war. While I'm in the middle of mine, so now England be happy, no support. So we can either request aid from Aragon or rely on our own strength. I think we need more pretenders. Just splendid, we can Royal Mary and ally Burgundy, just what they need. Okay, it seems rebels have enforced demands on us. And first, uh, we've got step up, which is already good. And second, a look at this. We've got good ruler. If you remember, at the start we had garbage ones. Both ruler and air. Okay, let's get 20 legitimacy, summon power and some crown land. Enric has died, what a strategy, let's celebrate. Now I will step up once more, like this, stability, and finish the mission, the Infantes of Aragon. First, less influence for estates, and second, better stats for our ruler, he is just cut. Look at this. Okay, now that we've dealt with revolt, we can declare on Grand, and let's ally Venus. Also, we've got PUCB on both Aragon and Navarra, but we can get Aragon for free, quite easily, and with Navarra, it's never worth it to PU. Never. It's always a bad idea. It's just a small little OPM and we won't be able to annex it for like 50 years. Now I'd like to wait for 1450 to get Isabella of Castile. I hope I will get it and get Aragon for free, quickly. Anyway, let's declare on Granta. It seems Tunis won't help. Let's ask for access from Portugal. And I won't ally Portugal either because we would be able to get PU on it after we PU Aragon. Anyway, let's declare on Granta. Make Morocco co-belligerent. You don't even need to call in 
aircon. You can do it like this. We can clean aircon, but it wants quite a lot of land here, so I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I don't want to share. Let's also roll Mary Burgundy once again. There is 100% chance it will go to us. It travels both friends and Austria. Let's nearly invade Morocco. So let's get a fourth mill tech, maybe. Uh, let's hire a general. And I think we should just destroy these rebels. Oh no, wasn't in time. Well, anyway, not a big deal, I can do this. Use our ships. Need to wait for more military. And yes, here it is, because it doesn't have a garrison, basically. We can assault it right away. Okay, perfect. Now let's take Fez. Okay, let's peace out Morocco. I will take some money, some provinces. Take Granta, yes. Okay, now I will delete some forts, because I am not made out of gold. And let's finish a few missions. Reclaim and Delusia. First we cut claims on Northern Morocco and... And we can choose what to do with Granta. So we can either make this provinces Catholic and remove Granta's course on it, or we can also just leave them be. Considering that we want to play as Andalusia, it will be better for both real play and practical perspective to leave them be. If such is the case, I would also grant one more privilege, Enforced Interface Dialogue. Okay, now we are tolerant to hiddens. And I forgot to build spans for Contraption, let's do it right now and put our machine here on hostile trading to do it faster. For now I will expand in Africa, because to expand in Europe I would need to get Vargan. Once again we can convert the Moors, but of course I won't. Let's choose the second upfront. Religious Tolerance. We are playing Tolerant Castile. Oh, by the way, very cool event. Here we can make Gibraltar very good for trading. Let's do it. Okay, I think maybe let's do it, Crown Company, and replace it with Free Company. Or not replace it at all for now. We have secured Monopoly on Marina Wall. Let's see. Oh, until the end of the game even. Quite big production efficiency bonus. Okay, spent work on Thamson almost ready, uh, let's increase our maintenance and go and prepare. Here we go, fabricate claim, uh, let's attack. Also, by the way, I already see we have uh, very good chances uh, to get Ergon soon. I just need the skin today very soon. He has newborn AR and that means it will be in Regency Council and that means I would be eligible for a free PU. Maybe let's even focus on admin for now and hire some advisors. I do have the money, but I don't use them. Historical Spanish experience, by the way. The lamb sun has almost fallen already. And by the way, I think I would add all provinces here to trade companies. Oh yes, by the way, Aragon is in Regency. Soon it will become my PU. Well, yes, quite a lucky game. Just perfect air. But I think if I get Isabella, we would get rid of him. Okay, let's get some money and piss out Clemson. Full annexation plus money. Yes, there might be collision, but it shouldn't farm. Let's do it first here, they are useless. And my spider continues is almost ready, so we can soon also go on Tunis. Also, I will build flagship right now. Lightship, trade power per ship, with engagement and... Oh yes, I forgot we have unique flagship abilities as Castile. Okay, let's make it heavy ship, with attrition, flagship cannons and trade power per ship once again. It's just a very good ability, especially for Castile. Now I will fabricate claim in Tunis, I need to deal with rebels and I will declare. For now I can't hire any mercenaries, because first I need to finish my mission. Mercenaries reduce professionalism and I need at least 15. Okay, let's declare on Tunis, I would also be able to reset the truth of Morocco. I will take cartel noble privileges as a nice comedy form, I need them to have less influence. Okay, let's peace out Morocco, maybe take some money, continue with Tunis. Sus now is quite big, let's break a claim, and when I get Aragon, I will also declare on Sus. Also, this time Ottomans are crazy, oh no, not crazy. But it seems Syria got in the pan somehow, okay, I guess. Let's destroy Tunis. Now I can siege down Tunisian capital, maybe let's use our fleet. Oh, and by the way, now we have our flagship. I think maybe I would just buy professionalism. It's not expensive, 400 military mana. Tunis is killing my rebels, thank you. And let's piss out Tunis. This is what I'll take. Basically almost all coastline. And let's protect trade with our ships, because of our new flagship, all of them will count as trade ones. So we'll get a lot of money. Also I need to hire more men. And 13 more ships. Maybe let's buy some guys. So, now we should be able to get our army professionalism to 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's delete the worst ones and leave the best ones. Okay, now we should be able to finish one more mission. Oh, I don't know. I need, I think, maybe one more land unit and a few more galleys. I don't know. Oh yes, here it is. Isabella of Castile. Oh, well, this means that basically Aragon is guaranteed. There is no chance I won't get it. I think the mean time to happen will drop from around 10 years, if it's an emergency, to just one year, if we have Isabella. Well, not Isabella, but any female ruler, but usually it's Isabella. And finally, we can finish the armies of Iberia. Some good bosses, of course, but the most important one is this one. Spanish Armada. So, as you can see, we would get permanent claims on England, 
but, but if we are of different Christian religions, I would get PO on England. But the problem is that before reformation it's almost impossible, I would need to either embrace Orthodox or Coptic. Let's be frank, both are not easy to get, and there is not much sense in doing it. I won't finish the mission, maybe I would be able to underground on England later. Okay, let's go on SAS. I would actually love to expand somewhere except Africa, but for this I need to get Aragon into PU. And as I already see, we have small chance of doing it right now, during right scene. Choose that Morocco has ended, cool. Oh no, Portugal guarantees it. Well, I understand that I would need to core provinces, but first I would like to take a new idea group. Maybe I'll wait a little before peace in out. I just want to get a version ideas ASAP, because I have too much of the mana. And because I hired Explorer, we can finish one more mission, plus Ultra. Let's explore. Gold rush, quite cool, but I already have quite big inflation. I'll choose coexistence as my policy, don't want to micromanage. And now we have no chance of getting Aragon, already too late. Ok, let's conquer Sass. And now we have 100% control of Safi. Well, almost. Only Mark is left. I won't add Tafilo to trade company because it's Cal province. I would need to state it. Yep, I didn't get Aragon, unfortunately. We've got colonialism against Syria, and it seems Ottomans won't even support it. They are actually at war with it. Interesting. And we can finish one more mission, discover Caribbean. Get quite cool conquistador and I would start, I think, build colonies here. I think somewhere near Mexico. Okay, I think I need better colonial range. I definitely need one. Yep, I'm right. Let's try to find a range advisor. And found him. Okay, now let's build colony here. Still no? Okay, we'll build colony here, why not? And let's apply one ability, I think, the colonial one. Plus one development in colonies. It seems our ruler has thankfully died. But on the other hand, I will have problems with civil war. Not good, not good. Well, I can raise my stability, and this would help. But, well, we'll see. Oh, okay, that was unexpected. I thought it was impossible to do, or while I had urgency cancel. Well, I guess that's because we have Queen Concert. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Has anyone ever chosen this option? Well, anyway, let's make Aragon a junior partner. And we've got PO on both Aragon and Navarra. I think I will abandon Navarra. Yep, I won't wait for this one. And let's finish a few missions. Let's finish the claims in Aragon. Get restoration opinion on both Naples and Portugal. Although maybe a little bit later. I will wrap up my African campaign. Okay, I will do comes up, it's allied to Morocco, and this way we would be able to clear without anchoring Portugal. I think I would focus on diplomatic, I think, maybe. Okay, not now, but I will. And start converting my provinces uh, to Andalusian. Okay, let's fully annex Morocco. And uh, let's conquer Mzap. Okay, uh, now let's finish the mission claims in Aragon, I think. So we've got Restoration of Union against Naples and Portugal. I think maybe let's try to fight Naples rivals. Papal State might be interesting. Let's revoke our military access, ready our ships to fight England, and declare. By the way, we can claim power pin 1020, so maybe let's make England co-belligerent. But first I'll mark some provinces as vital to me. Famous Spanish invasion of Great Britain. Okay, let's give off British, should be quite easy, we have a really big navy in comparison. Also, by the way, it seems once we got Aragon, the Castilian Civil War won't fire. Okay, let's acquire Portugal. Okay, I will try to acquire them from the first try. Awesome, let's continue. Portuguese navy is sunk. Let's repair ours and invite Great Britain. The pitch head in England is already established. Let's expand it. Most historical EU4 game. Okay, let's peace out England. I would take Gascony and London. And the war patients. I won't take too much because I'm afraid of crazy expansion. Let's also state the fallout. I forgot about it. Yep, I was rightfully afraid of coalition. I need to improve relations. And let's peace out Portugal. I took Ceuta and these two princes. And let's check out Portuguese ideas. Exploration. Just what I wanted. Colonizing PU. Okay, let's collect in the English Channel and maybe I will send my fleet there. Let's also declare on Faison. And I need to start improving relations with Portugal. Otherwise, once Isabel dies, I will lose Portugal. Now I can finish the mission Continue Reconquista, get some peasant bonuses and more claims. And we can finish the mission Recover Portugal, get some stability, draw some princes, and now we can finish the crown of Austria and get PU on Austria. Yes, I know power creep is real, but I won't right now because I also need to view Naples. And uh, let me say it won't be easy. It won't. Cheap animus advisor can't say no. Although no, I can. Colonial range is more important. Although, by the way, I forgot to release Cascania. I will do it right after Pheasant War. And let's build Splendor on Syria. Missionaries enter the Congo. It will start the conversion events. Okay, let's fully annex Pheasant. Take some money. Okay, let's release Cascania. So now, in theory, I can try to pure Naples. It just would be painful, but let's see if I was the park and yeah, yeah, we can try. Let's pay some trust. Maybe ask when you to prepare for war. 
and we should be able to win. Yeah, why not? Let's try. Let's try. I asked it to prepare for war. I will wait for my subject to return, and we will storm Paris. By the way, let's click conquer Navarra, and let's declare on Naples. The plan is quite simple. I rush to Paris and hope I won't die. I will also check how much prefix expansion it will generate. Not much, surprisingly, but still enough for coalition. I need to improve. Okay, let's conquer Navarra, and our colony is ready. I will make another one here and do charge in Santo Domingo. I need it for this mission. Claim Hispaniola. We need to do charge in Santo Domingo. But some cannons should make our wars easier. And we can finish reinforce royal authority. Let's do it. Well, I can almost like peace France. Really almost. Maybe let's quickly try to siege down Paris. It's killing my manpower because I can't leave my troops unattended. France will eat them. Okay, here we go. Let's wait peace. Nothing else. And I can do nothing. My allies will deal with Naples. I just need to make sure collision won't form. As next ability, I'll take justified wars. Let's also start golden era. As next current reform, I'll take unique Iberian one. Council of the Indies. Well, it's not the best, maybe representatives of the crown will be better, but I like any common reforms. Uh, let's grant you more privileges, grant you more charters, and let's take work loans. Now I will increase Renaissance and get one more idea group. I think religious. And I'll start spawning Sunni rebels. Let's lower missionary maintenance and check out our charts. Yes, we are majority Sunni. Well, almost. So I will be able to convert quite quickly. Castilla and Andalusia is a lot easier than you think. And Naples is done, let's peace out. Okay, now we have quite an empire. Let's also declare on Syria while Ottomans didn't. One more colony is ready, let's continue. And we are almost ready to shift to Andalusia. By the way, already 40%. Of course we've got Burgundy. Like I said, almost 100% chance. Also by the way, I have too many populations, let's grant strong duchess. Now most likely Austria will be angry, most likely it will declare, but I don't know. It's ruined. And by the way, now we can finish Descent onto Italy. Get claims first on Italy, and second on Belgium. If not for aggressive expansion, I would feast right now. Okay, Austria, you can declare, no problems. Good luck, have fun. Oh, by the way, it's quite strong. Okay, let's peace out Syria. I want to take Jerusalem, but I'm afraid it's not worth it. Let's just take African provinces and some money. Let's quickly finish the mission crown of Austria. I will pay it soon anyway, no need to wait more. Okay, and let's just wait peace it. No need for anything else, because right now I will declare on France. Let's build a few cannons and I will declare. Okay, let's declare, reconquer Armagnac, clean Venice, and let's go. Should be all easy. Not sure, of course, but I hope it will be. Armagnac is each town, it's the most important part of this war. Well, yeah, the war is going smoothly. And I can go straight to Paris. The siege of Paris is over. Let's fabricate on Togurt, and I will declare after the war. As next, I will choose to take war taxes. Okay, let's peace out France. I will return course to Gascony, take Toulouse, and release it later. And divide it in two. And of course, tons of money. See, so coalition, coalition should be fine. Yeah, it is. And now let's go to the Clown Togurt, and I will chill because I would like to try to inherit Burgundy. And to do this, you can't be at war, you need to be at peace. And Austria just cut Bohemia's view, which is actually really good. I would cut both Bohemia and Austria. Okay, let's take Togurt, I'll Poland, and I will wait for a moment to, to the Clown Austria. And let's start annexing Gascony. I will also give up one privilege, Nobility Integration Policy. Here it is. And let's ask Pope for the Panic Annexation Cost. Oh, and I forgot about Sunnis. Let's mod Wall Fort here, set all of our vessels to passive, and provoke revolt. Also, maybe let's wait for them to return to their lands. And here they are. They won't need to occupy a lot, we are already basically Sunni. Yep, 5 more percent of development. Of course, they decided to convert Africa instead of Iberia. Of course. I am not surprised. But that may be enough, actually. No, it's not. Unfortunately. Well, anyway, let's just unseach our princess and try once again later. But soon enough, we will be able to convert to Andalusian. Okay, here it is 10 favors with Poland. I think it's time to declare on Austria. Unfortunately, Poland won't agree. I need to lower its opinion of Austria first. Maybe let's do it right now, even. Yep, they like each other. Well, anyway, I can survive without Poland. Let's declare like this. But the crazy expansion will be. Yeah, it will be ugly. Okay, then we need to start improving the ASAP. Improving, improving, and once again improving. And by the way, we can finish the mission Reign in France and get 10 permanent power protection. And I'm always forgetting about my colonists. Oh, to be honest, there is no rush, no one would colonize. Well, maybe only England, but that's it. Let's also finish sales of separation, get plus one to Pontic Manor, just what I need during the war. Okay, let's cancel this troop movement and let's save our princes. And we almost can convert to Andalusian. Uh, let's drop to little, little maybe. It is cheap, almost, a month maybe. And it's taking more than I thought, but we're almost there. Yes, here it is. 
Now we are in delusion. Without unstating anything, we became a delusion naturally. Let's also try to piss out as many nations as possible. Okay, let's piss out Brekans and let's go for Munich. Okay, minus Munich and let's go for Vienna. Straight for Vienna. I was even kinda lucky. Got opportunity to destroy Austrians. Okay, maybe they will destroy me here. Yes, they will. And the siege of Vienna is over. That means soon uh, we will be able to piss out. Although, I'm not sure if I would be able to improve relations in time because that's a lot. It really is a lot. Well, I already can almost be Austria, but I need this war to last for longer. I'm already almost there. Uh, but I think I would need to wait before converting to Sunni, because it most certainly will generate a coalition of full Holy Roman Empire. Okay, should be good enough. And I would get a lot of money and basically two nations, two great powers. Well, they're not really loyal. Let's see why. Yes, I see why. Well, it's okay. It will disband its army. Yes, here it is. Maybe let's pay off that for loyalists. And now I have problems with relations. I need, I think, to break lines with Venice. And I think I'll break with Poland. All the knowledge will remain. And we are at the place of birth of colonialism. We'll in exchange. And we'll cut one more colonist to let's continue colonize Caribbeans. Okay, let's provoke Sunni revolt. Multiple port here. Uh, set my allies to passive. Oh, and I forgot. I need to improve with Austria. Or I will lose the PU. Please occupy Hyperion, North Africa, please. And a new colonial nation. Private enterprise, I think. Or maybe... Well, we don't have competition here, so let's uh, choose self current colony. And I will give it some money so it colonizes. Uh, by the way, I don't spend my mana, but I don't spend it for a very good reason. Let's give subsidies. Big stack it's a month. Should be enough. I will colonize Africa in the meanwhile. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will finish the mission Spanish Armada. Uh, let's also see maybe something else. Claim Hispaniola, why not? And uh, now what I'll do, many will consider a heresy, if not worse. I want you to note that it wasn't that difficult. Basically, rebels occupied two of my provinces, or maybe three. This, this, and this. I choose a crazy expansion impact here, one with the queen, plus 50 relations with Muslims. Let's see coalition. Coalition is fine, okay. Okay, but that's not the end. Yes, I'm going to do this, I'm going to click. Time for a re 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 conquista. Okay, so you might ask, what about personal unions? No, first, we won't lose them, but we won't be able to integrate them, aside from Burgundy, it's a special case. But we would be able to if I do this. Southernite of Aragon. Okay, let's develop it a little. Okay, perfect. And sorry, sorry, I, I have to do this. I have to. Oh no, I can't yet. Okay, I'll wait. This is even worse than forming like an Empire's Mammoths. We have a lot to convert, but because we are tolerant, there is no problem. It won't impact our religious unity. And Austria is friendly to us, we can't even improve populations any further. Let's do this. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Who would have known that Castile is the best nation to convert Europe to Islam? Okay, it's loyal, maybe. Let's also enforce on Portugal and Naples. Without doing it, they will refuse integration. It's a fact. So if you want to integrate PUs as Sunni, you need to do this. You need to convert them. Well, anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.